We're blessed to be at the school I'm at uh, that we can use the name of Jesus. And uh, and this past year, I, my my kids were were super. They, you know, overachievers that that really love Jesus. And uh, you know, they did a great job of leading. And you know, I kind of turned it over to them. And they. Uh, we had some kids, uh, our FCA, we were a number of our senior football players, um, and they got a number of brothers that are sophomores and freshmen, and so that, that's, you just saw the connection with, uh, with Christ and, and, and just the, the care for each other. You know, we, our, our motto, our, our main scripture is Philippians 2, 2 through 5. And it's the ultimate. I'm going to use it today. And I mean, even if you, you don't have to put Philippians two, two through five, and it's still, the, it's great for any team. Mm -hmm. It's, but but putting Christ in there, then you, because five is, is the best part of it because being that of Christ's life. And our mission statement is uh, our goal is to be champions, and our, and our purpose is to be Christ-like. And so that. And and that's a constant, uh, you know, in life, in the, with this world, it's a it's a battle. Uh, and these kids, uh, thank God, we have that. To consider others better than yourselves yes. is the opposite of what most 15-year-olds want to do. How do you communicate that? Is it modeling? You know, is it, uh, and that your coaching staff buys into that too, I guess, too. Well, I think once you get it, in, you have to continually press, you know, push Jesus and talk about how he how he lived his life and what he did for us. And because it was what's he, it's again, opposite what football's teaching. It's what he did, not, you know, it's, it's what he did, not what we, what we can do. And it's all about that and get that across to the, to the kids and, uh, and just be there. There's going to, there's going to be tough times. Um, and it's, uh, and that's, that's what we try to really get across. And I, you know, my coaches are great. Um, we have a, a number of Christian coaches on the staff. And so it's, um, we're united in what we believe. And, and, uh, and as the program has grown and you've built that, now it's a, a little easier. And people know what they're getting into when they come. What's your encouragement? There's a lot of young faces in here to, as the guys. Yeah, but you're Ken Leonard, who's won multiple state championships. but. 35 years ago, you weren't. You know, talk, talk about just the the, the long-term commitment to that, and sometimes you don't see fruit on the scoreboard or with those relationships when, when guys are touching back with you when they have kids and stuff too. Well, I think you just go back to the basis. You know, too many guys, um, and, and me included, we tried to rely on ourselves. You know, and again, probably my next favorite verse is Philippians 4, 6. You know, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything, tell the Lord what you need, and thank Him for all He's done. And, and that's, that's the ultimate. And 4-8, about being so positive. Think, think the positive things, you know, the 3D coaching is, you know, let's go the other way. I used to, you know, used to coach angry when I, before I knew the Lord, you know. And uh, not that I still don't, <laughs> not that I still don't. Uh, you know, sometimes it's, and, and the Holy Spirit snaps me, and I know I'm doing something wrong, but uh, I just, with the young coaches, um, you know, just be positive and, and, and learn the trade and, and don't expect greatness tomorrow. Um, build it, work on it, uh, build a, get everybody involved, get the parents involved in the right things, not football, but the right, you know, let them get involved. Uh, and uh, I, have a, I have a little thing called rule of three. Tell them and they'll forget. Show them what you're, they'll, they'll remember more. But the important thing is involve them and they'll understand. Our kids, I mean, get them to understand what you're trying to get across on the field and off the field. And, um, you know, be, you know if, if you're a believer, and hopefully ever this goes to people that's looking to be a believer, is once you're a believer, be, be, be strong and proud, you know? Uh, that's what the Lord put in me when I, a few years about being bold, and there's times I'm thinking, oh, Lord, you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I'll do it next time. Yeah, it's, but you know what? I, you, just, you just come out, and you just gotta be who you are and what you believe, and um, I have another thing is, if I'm gonna uh, offend somebody, 
If I'm going to offend somebody, it's going to be man, not God.